I did forget to, to mention November again. It's December. Let, <laughs> yeah, it, go. You Let it go. It's always <laughs> next year. Yeah. Yeah. November is over. I was going to say thank you to everyone who donated and participated. And, and thanks for to Kev for having me and all that sort of thing. And great work, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm too tired, tired to talk about it. Uh, how did How did you do, by the way? Was it, was it good? Did you do well? It was okay. Yeah. Um, it, I mean, that's the. I mean, that's the problem with uh, having success that you measure everything against against that success. Mm. We talked about it earlier. Yeah. So you should never. You should never have success because then <laughs> everything feels bad. <laughs> No, no, that's no, that sounds awful. Uh, I raised uh, two hundred and forty euros. So that's really that's nice. good. Yeah, so that's uh, decent so amount. Let's see yeah. where is the? Yeah, some depressed man out there can new, buy, now buy a decent new tool. Yeah, and the team as a total raised. Oh damn it! Uh, Four thousand seven hundred and sixty-two euros. Well, that ain't bad. Well done, guys. That's not bad. Well done. But considering that we raised uh, ten thousand seven hundred ninety-seven euros last year, it 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 sounds bad. But it, I mean, it's not bad. No, it's not. definitely not bad. No, it's, it's great. Not. But yeah, as I said, success makes everything look bad. Yeah. And because you can't really compare those two, you should actually add them up. So we made this last year, and now we made this. So in total, you have actually this to the cost. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and we have. Uh, where do I see? There should be some kind of summing up because this is like this is the fifth year I've done this. Uh, so it should be. We should have some history on this page, but I can't find it, so we will never know. <laughs> but it's been a lot of, um, yeah, it's been doing great all over the years. Uh, so well done, Kev. I mean, this is yeah. Kev Sharkey through and through, without his uh, charm and uh, what's it called? What a leader has that makes people follow them? Leadership skills. Yeah. <laughs> Just good looks, perhaps. Uh, it's not just good looks with Kev, actually. He is a good-looking <laughs> bloke, but he is just a thoroughly lovely bloke as well. Yeah. He's yeah. a really nice guy. So, yeah, well done, Kev, for being a lovely, nice, good-looking guy. <laughs> 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 Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the fanboy episode. <laughs> Yeah, I was actually, it's going to be a bit upset. You didn't jump on that, Avar. You don't like him, do you? You don't fancy Kev. Well, do you remember how we ended the main episode? <laughs> Basically <laughs> wanting to be Kev. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, bigger... he doesn't fancy Kev. He wants to be him. <laughs> <laughs> so that's... Glenn is more a stalker and Hover is more like a serial killer. Serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be with you. I want to be you. <laughs> oh dear, this got significantly weird again, didn't it? Yeah, sorry, my bad. I feel I take full it responsibility for that one. It wasn't just you. <laughs> and then you have the. Yeah. And then thinking about the silent of the lambs. If you take the circle apart too far, I, I want to be in you. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not go there. Let's no. <laughs> let's keep it PG. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that was. <laughs> PG, cut... pretty good. I think you need to cut some <laughs> yeah. of this out, KJ. <laughs> nah, this is perfect half pint material. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, I, I, we also went to see the Mo Moana or Vayana, as it's called in Europe, uh, two movie. Uh, yeah. I live what in did you think? Oh, in the EU, I mean. Uh, <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought it was. Uh, <laughs> Good comeback, KJ. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I, I thought it was uh, really nice considering that it was uh, a sequel like that. I mean, it ran circles around uh, Frozen 2. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, I think 
I'll start being critical. I mean, they there were too much blunt references to the first one. Yeah. It's almost like they made it for kids. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm, I'm going to take criticism myself because we, we went and watched the Norwegian one. So, of course, it's a translation and it is also a, a, a musical style movie so of course the songs are translated and <laughs> Norwegian translations of uh, English uh, songs and of course uh, having characters like The Rock Johnson as the main character it, it's never going to be as good so I'm not going to slaughter it uh, fully before I've seen the original and with the original music but I did miss the crab that was, uh, I mean, yeah. why couldn't they put the crab in there? And still, th there wasn't any of the melodies that was just as catchy as the You're Welcome one. And the most it, catchy it, it was... song was the one that they redid from the first one. So, yeah, I need to it watch that. It was just B-sides, I would say. And too yeah, many that's... of them as well. Yeah. <laughs> it is a sequel. It is a B-side. That, that's the best summary I've heard, actually. Yeah. I've yeah. not I've not seen it, but Lily's criticism of it was that the songs weren't as good as the first one. Yeah. Apparently, it was supposed to be a TV series at first, and then they restructured it to be a movie instead. I've heard somewhere, uh, and that sounds reasonable with the with the tempo as well. Uh, of the it, it was off at some points, and it could re very well have been a, a, a season one instead of a. But I mean, the, the kids like it. And, and the one thing what I was going to get to was that it was inspiring making wise because it was a lot of stuff that I felt that, ooh, I would like to make that in real life. Yeah. I mean, you the, made the, the hooks. The paddle? Were, the, the paddle, paddle is happening. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the paddle was... I, because I thought, oh, Horde made the, the hooks. I really want to make that paddle. Paddle, that's... It looks really great. So maybe that... Uh, on me getting that turbo plane, that might be something in the future. And those, what's it called, the coconut guys. The, yeah. <laughs> carving one of those could be really fun as well, perhaps. Um, you need to crack on, KJ, and get it done while, the, while you can still ride the bandwagon. No, no, it's way... I, 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 you know my time schedule. I will be done in March. It's... <laughs> I will aim for the, the release of the next one instead. <laughs> So yeah, it was a, it was an it was nice to get out with the family, and as I said, you get got some inspiration to to do something because I feel like carving is something I haven't done in really any sense. Yeah, and you were looking for like an artsy project, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. So this is uh, so this, this might be something for the new year. After what that things I'm working on at the moment and that lamp, so yeah, it's somewhere around. When it's springtime and you can be outside and that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, I have so many projects <laughs> that I just... If I, you could just roll my table outside, uh, I could enjoy it. But now I just need to find a place to stow the tractor because I'm tripping over it every day. And I'm, I'm cleaning the workshop to prepare for all the winter projects. And uh, yeah. It is. It is depressing. It's now. It's at that point where it's dark when you get home from work. I mean, yeah. even if it's uh, like a glimmer of light during the day, you know that it's going to be pitch dark by the end of you get home. And for the last two weeks, it's been pissing down as well. So you just like you get wet on the two meters from the the entrance door to the house and to the entrance door of the workshop. And then, yeah, you can't do anything outside. So, uh, yeah. But now again, I mean, it's just a few days before the 20th of December and then the sun turns and uh, all of Scandinavia and hope in humanity is on the right path again. Yeah. yeah going back to you saying you cleaned your workshop, me and um, Michelle was in my workshop last week doing the scrap wood build. She did two nice projects, very nice projects, turned out really good. And I also have been in there. I sense a bot hair. No, 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 no. <laughs> and a big, I, juicy butt. I know. <laughs> what are you trying to say, KJ, about my wife's butt? Ooh, <laughs> she's, gonna, she's not going to be happy with you. 
<laughs> Who said I was talking about her? You have one as well, don't you? I think mine fell off about 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> In the pasture somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, chainsaw accident. Yeah. <laughs> now, <gasps> chainsaw. Go on. All right. Should should you continue what you were talking about before no, I carry on? No? It's fine. No, it's gone. Of course, when you did the uh, the honey dipper thing, I like. I might want a lathe now, but I'm not going to admit that to anyone, <laughs> let alone myself. <laughs> but I saw a guy. He chucked up a, a big piece of whatever wood uh and he had a washing dryer motor to spin it and then it what, what's the thing the the piece that you put your uh, uh the chisel on tool um, rest yeah the tool rest yeah. and he had some tool rest and he made a stool with a chainsaw oh a chainsaw lathe Oh, I'm so in. I'm so in. So, but it, it looks like something you need to build yourself. But yeah, that's. Uh, I'm into lathe now. <laughs> well, I built a lathe. You can do one, surely. Exactly. So yeah. I just need a chainsaw. But <laughs> for, first, I'm ordering a, a, a two-stroke engine for a coffee grinder. So that, I'm going to do that first, and then it's the it's the, the lathe. <laughs> Are you buying a new engine for the coffee grinder? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do you do? I mean, it's, it's, it's late. Holly it's Express, be a, you had a gin. It's, it's, it's going to be a nice flavoured coffee, isn't it? With a hint of two-stroke in it. Exactly. And you can get the, ro- the racing two-stroke, which has got like a cherry scent to it. That would be nice. little touch. Yes. And then you also got the... I mean, coffee in itself, some say, is a mild laxative. And then you might add some oil to that mix because I've realised something the engine is spinning in the wrong direction. I got the coffee grinder and that is not unidirectional. So you need to spin it one ah. way. So it's like, all right, do I make something uh, where I can bypass the chain so I can cross the chain, but it's a relatively short distance. So if I had a longer chain that I might pull off. So then do I need to make a gearbox to rotate that? And I was thinking, how do I make a, a gearbox? I don't have a lathe, so I can't make the axle. So I was looking, if I use a screw and then I use a, a bushing and some the cogs ordered off of AliExpress, but I, I don't have... That feels safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I don't have... It's get better. Uh, and I don't have a way to make the gear housing other than in plywood, so... On the CNC, I'm going to make a gear housing out of plywood. And then, of course, I'm going to put some cogs and homemade axles down there without using a lathe. And, of course, you need some lubrication on it. And, of course, that gearbox is going to sit right above the uh, uh, the coffee grinder. So, of course, is there any way of getting... a uh, um... <laughs> like a, a wooden gearbox casing <laughs> to contain oil rotating at a million miles an hour at the <laughs> at the control of a two-stroke engine? Not, mm, maybe not. So, can you not 3D print all the components for the uh, gearbox? Don't I, tell me it won't last. It's only got to last for one video. That's the, that's the deal. You know, I, I've, I've been thinking about that. And at mm. some point, you need a weak point. So there, there is an axle connection there, I thought. I 3D print that. If it works, it works. And if it doesn't work, I know that's the point where it's going to fail. So it's not going to ruin or kill me, hopefully. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the 3D printer is going to be uh, essential here, I think. And I've also been thinking, well... Can I offset it enough? I mean, I don't. I don't know how flexible this very cheap chain is. So, if it is flexible sideways enough that I can actually cross it, that is the easiest way to solve it. So I'm going to try that first, and if that fails miserably, then I have to b- build a gearbox. But can you not um, instead of a chain use a V belt because you could quite easily cross one of those? I could, but then you need the the pulley for that belt on both ends and That's those, those are just print. as expensive as the engine because the engine is like 40 quid yeah i know but there's that that would be an easy 3d print though wouldn't it those those pulleys 
I wouldn't yeah. say easy, but doable, perhaps. I mean, for one video, it should be doable. I did not think about that, but yeah. What, what RPM does the coffee grinder want? <laughs> and, and what? <laughs> it will and, but, get what, what, the, what the engine delivers. That's yeah. the... yes. That was my second question. The first one was, what does it want in yeah. a range? It's just hand I mean, turned, it's, it's it? a hand cranked, so it's like <laughs> one, two, three. Yeah. And may, what maybe will it get? maybe sixty <laughs> RPM, and I think the engine is like seven, eight thousand. So it's, it's in for a surprise. <laughs> I mean, you could just. If you wanted to to go the other way, just have cogs instead and have a really big one and a really small one, and then you know, I did I did think about that, and I did I didn't think much about it. I did think about <laughs> it um, because the engine comes with a gearbox. It, it's the exact same engine that's in the tractor, um, and there is a reduction gear there already, because of course the axle of the tractor doesn't rotate at six thousand RPM because then you would breaking Mach two True. with it. Um, and I'm thinking that, that it's still going to be fast for a coffee grinder, but I mean, it will probably survive the 10 seconds I need for the video. Uh, and if it lasts any longer than that, it's okay. And of course, I, I'm still on the fence. I could have used the engine from the tractor because I, I need a bigger engine in, in that as well. But the problem is if I take that engine out, I probably won't have time to put the bigger engine in it during this winter and i know as 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 quickly as the lakes freeze over here i want to take it for a drive so i'm gonna have to leave it so i have something Mm. that drives and at some point i can always find use for extra 50 cc two-stroke engine yeah of course um and of course the the new engine it's not greasy it's nice to work with and it comes with red cowlings and panels so it matches Ooh. my red wall and of course that is just as important <laughs> as anything i mean <laughs> it's going to work for 10 seconds and it's going on my wall so color is important <laughs> <laughs> you're so aesthetic <laughs> i'm a designer you know <laughs> what is your uh, ultimate solution for the red wall and for new tools in the future because you when we visited your workshop, there wasn't much spare space in there. That's true. Um, I have some project on the floor now because there, there's not space for those. <laughs> and I, I really need it for tools or storage. But it, it's nice to have a backdrop. Um, but yeah, the, the, the workshop thing is... Uh, we have been thinking about a garage, uh, as I've talked about earlier, but... Here the other day, the wife said, but you you have that part of the land, so why don't, you can build yourself a workshop if you don't have enough space. And it's like, I can? And then, of course, the, the, the wheel starts spinning. Um, of course, because of the size and the height, you, you need planning permission because, I mean, anything less than 50 square meters and less than three meters height you can actually do it needs to be according to regulations but you can do it without the the cumbersome applying process and uh, notifying neighbors and so on but of course just by it sitting on that slope and I, i i do want like two stores for it to don't have too big a footprint then i will have to have uh the municipality's uh, acceptance and then you have to have drawings uh, and then it gets well one thing is expensive but it's it's time consuming and then of course should I go through that process just to knock up a glorified shed and of course it is going to be built right where we put in the new uh, water and drain line so it's like all right but should we then put up a, a decent building that have water and drainage and and whatnot for in the future if we are selling the house we have a separate dwelling or what it's called i mean i I can't build it so i can use it as a workshop but if you take all the tools out it's very easy to repurpose it like a a second dwelling with a a single bedroom and a small kitchen or something if you 
whatever. But then again, it's as a two year project at least. So I'm 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 stuck with my workshop now. Yeah. I it's have been why? thinking about maybe what about the container? Like that sounds tantalizing. <laughs> but yeah, it's still a bit on the fence on that one. Mm. But yeah, it's just still... make a hobbit hole in the in the hill you're living on. Yeah. Just <laughs> dig instead. Then you don't need permission. Yeah, I could also make a video series about that. How I dug a, a secret <laughs> cave under my workshop. That that might be a thing. Yeah. No, that, that's that's not a dumb idea. That just just keep a lid on that until we got the details sorted out. I don't want anyone to catch on to that idea. I think it took me nine months to build my workshop, but it was one of the most enjoyable things I've done. It was lovely. I enjoyed every moment of it. And that was working every spare minute I've got. I hand I handled all the foundations for it and everything as well though. Mm. Which is ridiculous because I can drive a digger and I could have got a digger in, but I didn't want to. <laughs> I mean that's the thing though. When I well I when I built the, the garden house, it was the summer when we got the first kids. So I had a lot of I mean, I had a vacation and then we had the time when the baby was born and she was sleeping a lot, but I was I was still at home, so I had every spare second to myself I just use on that. And as you said, it's very enjoyable, but yeah. I don't have that now. I have ten minutes mm. in the dark yeah. every night. So it it wouldn't be a, a pleasure and it would take too long time. If I if I were to plan ahead so I could, like, I know the design and could order all the parts and then, of course, you could spend some time having the foundations ready and then you could spend the entire three weeks vacation. You can get a lot done. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if getting the... A, if you bought a flat-packed building, they must be on sale there. They are here. Yeah. That and that's the thing, though. Away. If... On a flat surface, that would be easy, but yeah. in that steep slope, we have there. There is no flat pack solution for that. Right. So, unless I build some stilts for it and then have it Ooh. like a like a, a Thailand uh, water dwelling something, <laughs> just a land. I mean, if if you build it into the hill, doesn't that mean that you can take the average of the different heights to with the height of the building or something like that whatever it's called when you build into a you might be but i think i you don't get two full floors out of that anyway no. and of course i you, you've been to my workshop and i i would like some more ceiling heights to be able to you, have you some need more ceiling than, height yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i mean it is sounds like a really nice thing to build a workshop beside your your current workshop so you have a full workshop to actually go to and fix stuff and have all the tools in and that sort of thing and just yeah and don't don't yeah. tell my wife that but the plan is of course to have two workshops so i then have <laughs> yeah, the course. one close to the house for all the nice things and then you have the woodworking and the, the metal fire shop. Hazard. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> away from away. the house yeah. <laughs> but that being said though i'm gonna do something that. I've been thinking about it for a long time, but it's it's a stretch for me. Um, there is a house by the kindergarten. They have a it's a it's an old house, but they put new sidings and roof on it, and then they built a structure at the side, and that is on a slope, and it looks like it is. Uh, a single car garage in the bottom, but with an apartment on the top and a flat roof. And I really like the look of it and the size looks good as well. Of course, I would have railings on on the roof so you could actually have an access ladder or something so you could go, go up there because we, uh, we have a decent view. Um, but I was kind of thinking at one point I'm going to, just going to go and knock on their door and I've I've driven past uh, your building every day for the last couple of years. I like the way it looks. Um, of course, it's it's built uh, by drawings made by an architect. It's not something you buy off the shelves. But 
do you mind telling me what the architect is and hopefully he, he or she is uh, like yeah that's nice and they can tell me a bit about how it's actually structured but yeah if i could just get a hold of that architect he would probably happily turn turn the page on the the drawings and maybe we could get uh, a plan and of course i would also, also like what what did you pay for it and i can just add for inflation and whatnot on the last few years for the drawings yeah and the build i yeah, mean the owner yeah. can also probably tell me like all right uh, by the time everything was done we spent so much on it and yeah. then i could just ballpark it because yeah. we don't have that kind of money laying around so we need to involve the bank if we're going to build something like that and of course then it's not up to me alone so we have to have a family council on it yeah it's um I think it cost me 700 quid for the drawings for my workshop, which is essentially a box, but I needed it specking up to put plumbing through. Yeah. That's the issue. Because yeah, that's the be. thing, though. I don't know what the foundation is. I mean, the drawings. I mean, if the municipality, and it's the same, so they have already accepted these drawings. So if you hand in a new set of drawings, uh, uh, at least if you use the as-built drawings that were approved, then you know it's going to pass through because it's already done that before. So it should be a, a quite easy fix. And of course, I'm, I'm going to have modifications I want to do to it, but mostly it's going to be on the internal structure. So it's, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm dreaming about now. Yeah. After I sold the container, but because I still need space basically yeah definitely <laughs> yeah <laughs> after uh, bumping your head on my ceiling a couple of times you, you <laughs> are very agreeable on yeah you need more space <laughs> yeah both that and every surface being occupied and all the walls being full and yeah you know i'm i'm gonna be honest here um getting a new workshop it doesn't matter how big it is it's gonna take three weeks and it's gonna be just as full that depends how big you make it, but in, eventually it will be full again, yeah. Yeah, but you have online market. I mean, as someone was, I don't know if they inherited a house or something, but someone having a, a garage giveaway slash sale this Friday, and I was thinking of taking the day off or at least a couple of hours to go, but I've seen a lot of people have liked that or stored that uh, that post as interesting. Uh, because someone was like, it, it was a planer there for a hundred bucks. It's a big industrial one uh, and a pillar drill. And of course, the big items, they were taking money for them, but it was ridiculously low prices and all the small tools on the walls and so on, they're just giving it away if people are coming to just take it off their hands. So they're probably cleaning out the house. So, of course, when you're starting to looking for things like that and you have a big empty workshop, it doesn't take a long time to fill it up and it doesn't cost you much money. So, yeah. Just a, a little change of subject. Did you make use of the Black Friday offer on the Maker Central tickets, KJ? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You change your mind, not coming? No, I didn't. I think it's still on, actually, the offer. Yeah, they, yeah, they, I they feel like it. Extended uh, it. Yeah. Uh, and then I forgot about it, to oh. be honest. Uh, they just reposted today, so I think the offer's still going. So. Yeah, might do that. Uh, because I am I am going. Yeah. Uh, but I have to decide about the everything around it. Um, <laughs> I'm seeing that there actually is a direct flight from uh, from Sweden to to the uh, to the event uh, to the no, not the event but yeah to the Birmingham airport, <laughs> uh, uh, which I haven't found before. But it is Ryanair, and I, I don't like that. Uh, but, yeah, but I don't like. Uh, uh, I having just a two and a half hours flight nonstop. That is really nice. Yeah. So I think if you, um, I think if Ryanair is okay if you're prepared just to add an extra hour onto your flight time because when I went to Norway, I went with uh, Ryanair and I mean it was an absolute bargain. It was 148 quid, 
including car parking in the airport at this side. Yeah. Um, but it was delayed an hour each way. So as long as you allow that extra hour, it's still, <laughs> but it's, it's still cheap and it still gets you there and it's still better than being direct, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, the only problem is that the, the, the times that they were going weren't that, weren't optimal. Really. No. So then you have to decide when to go. And I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, uh, it's a lot of, to think about. Yeah. And, Get your tickets for the event while they're cheap and then work the rest out. Yeah. The hotel's gone up though quite a bit this year. Yeah, yeah that's the that. as well. Yeah, from I think we paid 90 quid a night last time and I think it's 120 on this year. So mm. it's quite the increase in uh, one year. But then they have, it does get full, doesn't it? The hotel at Maker Central Time. So maybe that's what they're capitalizing on. Yeah. Which yeah. is just good business, really, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, you can't blame them for that. No. No, and everything has become a lot expensier, more expensive. Lost. <laughs> expensier. <year>. Expensier. <laughs> I like it. I like that new word. <laughs> Everyone knows what it means. Yeah, so yeah, it's it's, it's great... the name of my new sword. Come. <laughs> Is it more expensier or less expensier? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good that you nag on me to actually make my mind up what, how I want to do, uh, because I need to do it. I don't nag. <laughs> <laughs> I've, yes, I've been looking nice at. <laughs> it doesn't help how many times I looked at it. The seventeenth is still on a Saturday. It doesn't help how many times I open the calendar, and of course. One thing is the price on the tickets, like, oh, I just should I just press? And then we got that email, like, uh, hello there, maker. Are you making the trip uh, last year? We are renewing the makers list. And you, you feel a bit like, oh, they're thinking about me. It's like but <laughs> what, they, what they did, that they, they, they took their list that they already have, and they just sent out the same email to everybody. So, like, but... There is this one wane part of me that like, oh, they they, they want me back. <laughs> it's like so they almost tricked me. <laughs> but it is nice to actually that they this they pretend to care at least. Definitely. <laughs> how are you, if you don't come over, which you're probably not going to do, how are you going to feel when? Uh... We're posting pictures and things. Of it. You know, we're doing I'm, the uh, rainy day pictures. I'm gonna my. It's gonna be my Easter project. I think I'm gonna make a lead box, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> mid May I'm gonna put my phone in it, uh, and I'm gonna bring the the family to a cabin in the woods uh, without the reach of anything, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna stay there. In field position, rocking back and forth and like la 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 la. <laughs> and then on the nineteenth, I'm gonna come back and like, uh, oh, so you're hungover? Hey, I'm, I'm feeling great. <laughs> yeah. No, you're gonna on the. You have to take the week off before and the week off after the podcast. <laughs> yeah. I think you should just come. Yeah, I should and. Uh... I mean, uh, at some point, the FOMO is going to kick in that hard, so I'm, I'm going to end up buying full price tickets and an overpriced hotel. And yeah. yeah, your daughter will forgive you for one year. What? Yeah, but it's not one year though, is it? It's every bloody year at the same time. Why the fuck can't they choose well, the next week? Well, we're not going to be doing the podcast forever, are we? It's only going to be next year at the best. We're going to carry on for, aren't we? So, I, I mean, that's true, but we're still going to be. Well, that depends on how we end the podcast. I mean, we might not be friends. Who knows? But yeah, at some point, it would be nice to have a place to meet. And I mean, just last year with the podcast and the CMOs and meeting all the people there. I mean, the the Maker Friends network has expanded a lot, and everybody's yeah. like, most of them are going there. So the FOMO is going to be big this year if I'm not attending. That's for sure. Yeah. Pull your finger out, get it sorted. <laughs> yeah. I'll just have to find a way to trick my daughter into wanting to go again. So 
I mean, it is it is brilliant to have a, a companion it's... and excuse to go to bed early. It's... No, no, you, you need to go by yourself one year. I think it's um, it's quite a good excuse just to say, it, but you know, I'm not going to be here for your birthday, but don't worry, you're going to have a second birthday the weekend after or the weekend before. Yeah, and I'm going to bring a gift from that story you remember from last time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. Well, it's all good, isn't it? Two birthdays for the price of one. Ta-da! Daddy's home, and look what I got you. A chisel set from uh, Axminster <laughs> Tools. <laughs> Gotta start them early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but th- this year, Glenn, you're not going to sneak away to the hotel room at night. I'm dragging you to Hilton Bar. No, I'm I'm, I'm up for it, KJ. Um I mean, seeing your performance at Scarpa Festival, and I'm not worried that you're going to be up that late anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what, I, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm actually going. So I've got a hotel book for the Friday and the Saturday night this time. So I'll be going there on the Friday um, on my own. And then I will be joined on Saturday evening by Michelle and Vivi, who will be coming to the event on Sunday. So I will be there at the event on Saturday and Sunday, obviously, but with the girls on Sunday. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So I've got a, a night alone as well. So it'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Right, see you there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see you there. Come on, let's end it on that. And uh, yeah, make your central 2025. Yeah. And hopefully we'll see some listeners there. Maybe, maybe not that many Norwegian ones, uh, as in you're so precious about your seventeenth uh, over there. But oh, yeah, yeah, that was that was a big deal. Actually, we were talking to them. I mean, it, we? well, I mean, if we're enough Norwegians, then we can have a parade down uh, the the venue, like Norwegian flags. And... Yeah. yeah, yeah, drum up and have a like, what classical the f- invading party. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, people wouldn't bat an eye like, all right, there's some weird kind of cosplay, I guess. And we just march <laughs> through with our marching band and uh, traditional clothing and everything. And yeah, nobody would bat an eye. And I am hoping that one or both of you will come a day earlier as well and come over here for the day, night, whatever. <laughs> yeah, what, day, what? night, whatever time. Yeah, whatever you like. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, maybe even two days. Maybe you ah, oh. a week. <laughs> yeah, do you you need assistance? I mean, Did can, I say we, whatever? can we <laughs> can we join you to work? Like you, you show up. Yeah, I got, you I got absolutely can. Assist, I got two yeah, assistants now. I can mow the lawn. <laughs> okay, I'm not the <laughs> <laughs> volunteer for physical work. No, <laughs> but I mean, you have the you have that very successful lawn mowing channel, and then you can have a video like mowing the lawn UK edition. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> KJ mows the UK. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a euphemism. Uh... I heard one. <laughs> Hobart trims a bush. <laughs> and Glenn just films it. Yep. <laughs> like the weirdo he is. <laughs> Hot news off the press seems they were still recording. The Scrapwood build off results have just come in and Andy's won it. Nice. So well Congratulations, <laughs> Andy. That I was, was just thinking about the, when, I, when the results are going to be in. I've just had a that... message off Michelle. I mean, there the was brilliant people and projects this year as every year but yeah this was well deserved on andy and yeah yeah that's nice she's not said i've got second or third so i'm not gonna watch it now (laughs) (laughs) well i i wasn't eligible to participate so when i i posted the video and i haven't tagged them in the project but when it's like all right it's uh three hours left you have to send us the link and I don't have to do anything. <laughs> so, and of course, I mean, even if I were living in the UK or down under, I, I wouldn't. I would be fighting for a last place. <laughs> so, but yeah. it, it's always nice to participate. It is the the community feeling more than anything. For me, that is. Yeah, no, definitely. 
No, it was a nice thing to participate in, definitely. It's uh, kicked me into shape to make that footstool I've been wanting that's been on the list for well over a year, maybe two. <laughs> I'm going to weld my uh, welding chair and that's it. I'm going to make it extremely easy. <laughs> Maybe I do some leather upholstery, but yeah, it's going to be stretching a square piece of leather and just <laughs> nailing it on the backside and call it we a need, day. We need to ask you next week how your commission's coming on. Didn't a friend ask you to make a table? Yes. This is content um, for next week, I think. That's content for next week, which will buy me a bit of time to uh, come up with a plausible excuse <laughs> for, <laughs> for uh, not very much happening since last time. So, yeah. What are you drinking, H? Gin and tonic? No. Gin Russian. <laughs> Is that because I'm a Coke or tea and vodka? Or... Vodka. <laughs> vodka. No, it's uh, it's instead of tonic water, it's the it's called the uh, Russian. It's a it's a drink mix. I don't Is know it? what's in it. It's yeah, it's red. <laughs> tastes delicious. What can I say? Is it, Is it beet juice? <laughs> it helps you get through the day and the night. <laughs> helps you get through to the next one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And literally live one More gin at a time. Reality. Yeah. <laughs> one gin at a time. That sounds like a bad way to live your life. <laughs> what we, was we up... the mother's ruin? <laughs> yeah, that's right. We were up late last night. I was awake till about four or five gins, something like that. <laughs> yeah. It's gin o'clock somewhere. Yeah. Um... It's okay. I mean, it is. Tomorrow we're halfway to the weekend, which is nice, and then it's Christmas, and then is it Christmas at the January. weekend? <laughs> yeah, wow. That depends didn't, on when you didn't start celebrating. Tell you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It started already. I mean, we're into December. We got the tree up and everything. I was going to say, I wondered why the girls had put the tree up last Sunday, but it all makes perfect sense now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that depends when you start counting the twelve days of Christmas and that sort of thing. <clears throat> I just thought that was it's more song. like forty-five to fifty days of Christmas. I feel twelve a month of Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> does it start or does it stop with Christmas, or does it overlap so you get two Christmases per turn? I don't know. Oh. That's why they invented Easter, wasn't it? It was to have a cutoff so you can have the next Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to restore it is to kill Jesus. Is that what you yeah. say? <laughs> yeah, they, they said he died for our, uh, what was it again? Something, but I just thought it had with, all right, someone had to reset Christmas. So <laughs> <laughs> he went on the cross, so to speak. <laughs> Took one for the team. Eh? I think that's yeah. the, uh, that was <laughs> what Jesus did, wasn't it? <laughs> died so we can have another Christmas. Yes. <laughs> That's right. But I think it was just a convenient way out for him, wasn't it? Before people were starting to ask him questions. <laughs> What's up with this Easter bunny? <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that he died to avoid scandals and bad press? Because <laughs> I don't know. You never saw those two together. So it's like it's suspicious. But still, they're both linked in some way. There is a conspiracy theory. I mean, it there, would be suspicious if you saw them together as well. I mean, dating that kind of um, transcending species and that sort of thing, it would be weird. <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> yeah, that's enough of that. Yeah. Uh, good night, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>